So what's in the pantry? If it has sugar, maybe that just comes naturally derived. But I want to know how much sugar they're adding to that. For consumers like Alec Bourgeois, figuring out exactly what's in the food he buys for his family isn't always easy. You can think that you're making, you know, reasonable, healthy decisions and, and realize, you know, realize later that you're absolutely eating junk and it's, it's incredibly frustrating. <laughs> That's because most food labels in the U.S. don't separately list added sugars. The nutrition labels Americans are accustomed to have been around since the early 1990s. A decision to update the label was made by the Obama administration following a campaign led by the former first lady, Michelle Obama. You as a parent and a consumer should be able to walk into a grocery store, pick an item off the shelf, and tell whether it's good for your family. The new labels were to be on products by next summer, highlighting calorie count and portion size in bigger, bolder type, and including how much sugar was added important factors in making healthy eating decisions. Diet has such a tremendous impact on health. Americans need to cut their calorie consumption, cut the saturated fat, the sodium, the added sugars, and that, that will save thousands and thousands of lives a year. But now the Trump administration is putting the brakes on the changes. In early June, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration announced the new labels are being delayed, with no firm deadline for when companies will be required to carry them. Some companies have already rolled out the new label, like you see on this box of Wheat Thins crackers, but most won't switch until the new labels become mandatory. The FDA hasn't stated a reason for the delay, but critics say the administration is bending to pressure from the food manufacturers. The Trump administration uh, really listened to the food industry. The food industry would just as soon not have these labels. How come? Because companies that market sugary foods won't, uh, will have to put that information on labels, and their food won't look as good. Food manufacturers say the proposed rules were unclear about how to calculate sugar and fiber totals, making compliance difficult. In a statement, the Grocery Manufacturers Association said, FDA's common sense decision will reduce consumer confusion and costs. FDA's extension is both reasonable and practical. But the decision is frustrating many consumers who want to limit sugar to dessert. If we don't have information, we can't make informed decisions. And then the marketplace just becomes, you know, a, a place where we get exploited. Jim Spellman, CGTN, Washington.